On this, the last Sunday of Advent, we light a fourth candle as a symbol of Advent love. Revisiting the big picture of God's love for his people during Advent helps us understand the significance of that very first Advent, the coming of a Savior. For this precise reason, Matthew starts his gospel with Jesus' genealogy, tracing his lineage back through King David to Abraham. Matthew wants us to understand that this major event is connected to God's bigger story of love and redemption. Love, incarnated in the form of a tiny baby, came to fulfill a promise God made centuries before. Paul explains he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness, Philippians 2.7. And he did it because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life, John 3.16. This is Advent love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. 1 John 4.10. Today we look back and remember that first Advent. We see God's promise of redemption fulfilled, and we know that a, a new era of God's restoration has been ushered in. But what, what are we called to do now as we wait upon the second Advent of Jesus Christ? The answer is simple. We are to do what Christ does, love. When his critics tried to test him, asking which commandment is the greatest, Jesus answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. And so this Advent, let us ask how we can love God and love our neighbor more fully so that we might fulfill the call of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Dear Lord, as another Advent season draws to a close, renew within us a desire to love as Jesus loved. And through his spirit at work within each of us and in the church universal, may we bring his light into this world of darkness. In his name we pray. Amen. <laughs>